In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The mighty God of mercy, and forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord God, you gave St. Joaquina de Verdruna to your church for the Christian education of youth and the care of the sick. May we follow her example and lovingly devote our lives to serving you and our brothers and sisters. For on this, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our readings are taken from the feast today. A reading from the first letter of St. John. We have passed out of death and into life, and of this we can be sure. Because we love our brothers. If you refuse to love, you must remain dead. To hate your brother is to be a murderer, and murderers, as you know, do not have eternal life in them. This has taught us love, that he gave up his life for us, and we too ought to give up our lives for our brothers. A man who is rich enough in this world's goods, so that one of his brothers was in need, would close his heart to him. How could the love of God be living in him? My children, our love is not to be just words or mere talk, but something real and active. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The children of the upright are blessed. The children of the upright are blessed. Happy the man who fears the Lord, who takes delight in all his commands. His sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. The children of the upright are blessed. Riches and health, wealth are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. The children of the upright are blessed. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honor. The just man will never win. He will be remembered forever. He has no fear evil news. The children of the upright are blessed. With a firm heart he trusts in the Lord. With a steadfast heart he will not fear. He will see the downfall of his foes. But when handed he gives to the poor, his justice stands firm forever. His head will be raised in glory. The children of the upright are blessed. Alleluia! Alleluia! Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If anyone loves me, he will hold to my words, and my Father will love him, and we shall come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On the road, the disciples had been arguing which of them was the greatest. So he sat down, called the twelve to him, and said, If anyone wants to be first, he must make himself last of all, and servant of all. He then took a little child, set him in front of them, put his arms around him, and said to them, Anyone who welcomes one of these little children in my name welcomes me, and anyone who welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
from the calendar. Today we celebrate Saint Joaquina de Vadruna. She was married to Theodore de Mas and bore him nine children before being widowed in 1816. She spent the next 10 years caring for her nine children until each got married. Then in 1826, she was prompted by God's Spirit to found a congregation of the Carmelite Sisters of Charity, establishing houses for the care of the sick, for the education of children, especially poor. She had great difficulty in these foundations and often experienced extreme poverty, but she always trusted in God and had a great devotion to the Holy Trinity. Her spiritual life was marked by prayer and mortification and detachment, humility and love. She was a mystic who had the gifts of ecstasies, habitations, and visions. She was a patron saint of abuse victims, those who suffered the loss of children, people who lived in exile, and widows. In the church's calendar, we also celebrate St. Rita of Cassia. Rita was married at an early age, and the marriage lasted for 18 years, during which she is remembered for her Christian values as a model wife and a mother, who made efforts to convert her husband from his abusive behavior and infidelities. He later repented and became a better husband. When he was murdered by another feuding family, she publicly forgave his murderers. After the death of her sons, she joined an Augustinian community of religious sisters, but she was known both for practicing mortification of the flesh and for the efficacy of her prayers. Many people came to her for prayers. She wore parts of the wounds of Christ, what is referred to as the stigmata. Many miracles were attributed to her intercession, and she's often portrayed with a bleeding wound on her forehead. The body is incorrupt. She is the patroness of impossible causes, and also the patroness of abused wives and the heartbroken. In the scripture today, Jesus says that if anyone wants to be first, they must make themselves last and servant of all. We see that in the saints for today. Joaquina gave up many things in her life, her wealth, her name, her privilege, she gave up herself to all her children, never ever thinking of herself. And the same with Rita. We see this in the many disciples in the early church that we've been reading about these last couple of weeks, from Paul to Stephen to uh, Peter and many others, who learned to detach from who they were and become new people in Christ. You know, sometimes when you look around us, we may want what others have. We may want the riches, the glamour, the honor, the glory, the recognition, we may even want everyone to like us, but our motivation, sisters and brothers, must never be to please other people, but to always seek to do the will of God and glorify Him by the way in which we live. Jesus asks His disciples and us to be the last and servant of all. He wants us to be humble, never wanting anything in return, no recognition, no honor, no thanks, no entitlement, to detach ourselves from all of these things and seek only to humbly do God's will. May we, sisters and brothers, have that grace to live as a least, being servant of all, walking humbly after the manner of all the saints, knowing that those who make themselves lost and servant of all are the greatest in the kingdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, We stand as we bring before our Heavenly Father all the needs that we have. So we pray for the Church throughout the world, for Holy Father, for Francis, Archbishop Jason, for bishops, priests, and deacons, and Carmelites throughout the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. During this time of the pandemic, we continue to pray for all healthcare workers, doctors, nurses, technical staff, all essential workers at this time who are uh, living at great risk, um, providing. Uh, assistance to those in need. We pray, Lord, for your protection upon them and their families. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For vocations to the priesthood and to the religious life, especially to our Carmelite way of life, for our brothers Marlon, Jonathan, and Greg, and Dave and David from our cluster, as well as Mikhail, Paul, and Jeff as they prepare for their ordination to the priesthood, 
that they all may be holy priests, exemplary priests, humble priests. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We need to pray for healing for Christian Youngwin, Ms. Nguyen, Dean, Monica St. Rose, Norma Allen, Della Marie, Phyllis Oliveri, George Tan Chun, Mark and Alma Tan Chun, Father Peter Labastide and Bertie Alexander. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray in thanksgiving for the safe deliveries of Simon Begashe Seal and Tatiana Job Simongo. We need to pray for the special attention of Andrew for a breakthrough in his situation, and also for God's blessings upon Ashton Noriega and Jeffrey Lima as they celebrate their birthdays today. God's blessings on them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And for the repose of the souls of all departed members of the Arago and Tantrum family, all victims of accidents and crime, victims of COVID-19, victims of that flight that crashed in Pakistan, and also for the repose of the soul of Francis Lazama, Ansel Pereira, Clara Manton, and Deborah Sanchez Moses, Lord hear us, Lord gracious hear us, and for all the needs that we hold in the silence of all of us. In this feast of St. Rita and St. Joaquina, we lift up in a special way all those who are abuse victims, especially those who have endured abuse um, experienced abuse during this time of the pandemic, lift up in a special way all of the women and children of this time who have experienced such. We pray, O Lord, for deliverance from their situation, if it be possible. We pray for your protection upon them. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. We unite these prayers to those of our Blessed Mother, Queen of all saints, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal Father, we ask that you hear these prayers that you make, for we make them with trust and confidence in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Praise sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all in his holy church. Lord, accept these gifts. May we who share these mysteries follow St. Joaquina de Vedruna in loving you above all things and others for your sake. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, for your praise in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, show us support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them 
the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we affirm. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew for so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jason, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially Francis Lazama, Clara Nanton, and Deborah Sanchez Moses, Ansel Pereira, departed victims of accidents and crime and epidemics, departed members of my family. Welcome them into the light of your gifts. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, your spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, St. Joaquina de Vadruna, St. Rita of Cassia, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We praise Jesus for his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. And we have our active spiritual communion. This prayer is found on the EWTN website. I'll pray slowly so that you can follow it. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment. Receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated. Let us pray. Lord, may your grace be increased in us through the holy gifts we have received. May we imitate St. Joaquina de Madruna in word and deed, bringing light and love to all those we encounter. For on this, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We mentioned yesterday about the uh, novena to the Holy Spirit, which begins today, um, from the day after the Ascension, which usually would have been Thursday, um, which was yesterday. Of course, in our country, it's moved to Sunday. However, the novena officially begins today, and this is actually found on our Facebook uh, page, um, taken from one of the uh, sites. The exact site is located there. So let's do that uh, prayer now. First day. Holy Spirit, Lord of light, from your celestial clear height, your pure beaming radiance give to the Holy Spirit. Only one thing is important, eternal salvation, only one thing, therefore, is to be feared of sin. Sin is the result of ignorance, weakness, and indifference. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of light, of strength, and of love. 
where the sevenfold gifts he enlightens the mind, strengthens the will, and inflames the heart with the love of God. To ensure salvation, we ought to invoke the divine spirit daily, for the spirit helpeth our infirmity. We know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Holy Spirit himself asketh for us. Prayer. Almighty and eternal God, who hath vouchsafed to regenerate us by water and the Holy Spirit, and has given us forgiveness of all sins, Lord, save to send forth from heaven upon us a sevenfold gift, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety, and fill us with the spirit of holy fear. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we do the glory be seven times. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, Lord without end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, or without end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, or without end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, or without end. We have an act of consecration to the Holy Spirit. On my knees, I before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to your eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the enduring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by my unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you, by your compassion, to watch over me in my weakness, holding the pious feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds, and trusting in his precious blood, and adoring his open side and stricken heart. I implore your adorable spirit, help of my infirmity, to keep me in your grace, that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant terror. Pray for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven, it promised to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, there to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that we may he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant us the spirit of wisdom, that we may despise the perishable things of this world, and aspire only after the things that are eternal the spirit of your understanding to enlighten our mind with the light of your divine truth, the spirit of counsel that we may ever choose the shortest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude that we may bear our cross with you, that we may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose our salvation, the spirit of knowledge that we may know God and know ourselves and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety that we may find the service of God sweet and amiable, and the spirit of fear that we may be filled with a loving reverence toward God, may dread in any way to displace him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples, and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 
Hallelujah. A reminder that we do have adoration this evening from 3 uh, to 5. You first take adoration. I encourage you to join us. We now invoke the intercession of St. Michael to really pray for an end to this pandemic as we pray. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the state of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you for joining us uh, today. Wish you all the best for this Friday. I encourage you to stay safe, be safe, and see you again later, if possible, or if not, tomorrow morning. Have a great day.